بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to my channel QHE Tajweed Rules of the Quran channel in English Today inshallah we will talk about the How can I start Surat At-Tawbah This is my first part of the class Second part, it will be how can I connect Surah At-Tawbah with any Surah before it? And what's the ways I can start with? Let's start with the first one part here. The ways to start Surah At-Tawbah or we call it Surah Bara'a. Surah Bara'a, like we know, we can't say Basmala, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the beginning of it. We can't. This is the only surah in the Quran. It starts with, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, without Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim at all. Then how can I start surah at-Tawbah? There is two ways to start surah at-Tawbah. Number one, al-isti'adha, then I stop, then I start surah at-Tawbah without Basmala. So I say the sti'adha and then I completely stop and then I say surat at-tawbah, read, it, read surat at-tawbah without basmala in between. How can I do it? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bara'atum min Allahi wa rasoolihi so I stop between Istaath and the beginning of the surah, take my breath, and then I read the first verse of Surah at tawbah This is the first way. Second way is connecting the Istaath with the beginning of the surah, still without Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. How can I do it? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim bara'atun min Allahi wa rasoolihi ila al-lazina ahattun min al-mushrikeen So in this case, I didn't stop in between, I didn't get any breath in between, I connect al-isti'adha, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim so I would kasr under the meme and I connect it with the first verse in Surah Bara'a which is Ar-Rajimi Bara'atun Ar-Rajimi Bara'atun Insha'Allah these two cases is clear Remember Surah At-Tawbah I don't say Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim in the beginning of it This is how it came for us from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala uh, sent this Surah he was mad about the Mushrikeen on it our second part in the class today, the ways between Surah Al-Anfal and Surah At-Tawbah. Why Surah Al-Anfal? Because Surah Al-Anfal in the Quran, it's the Surah before Surah At-Tawbah. But it's still, we can do uh, this between Surah At-Tawbah and any Surah I read before it. Okay? So, Surah At-Tawbah, there are three ways between Surah Al-Anfal and Surah At-Tawbah. For now, for this level, when you study the higher level, inshallah, and study Rauma and Ishmam, it's more uh, details on it. But right now, we will read only with the three main ways between Surah Al-Anfal and Surah At-Tawbah. Surah Al-Anfal is end with the verse say, Inna Allah bi kulli shay'in Let's use a thicker Ali. Word Alim in do is tanween in top of it. And Surah Tauba is start with word Baraa. Start with word Baraa. Okay. Let's see the three ways between these two surahs when we connect. 
Number way, number one, first way we can do finish Surah Al Anfal and stop. Stop means I take a breath and then start Surah Al Tawbah. How can I read it? In Allah, be cool, shay in Ali. This is my first way. My second way is continue with sect. What I mean by sect, I mean I will stop in the letter mean. Sect means I stop in a letter. And I didn't take any breath and I stop shorter time and then I continue reading. So I will stop in meme for a second without any breath, without any breath, without any breath. Remember that. And then I will read the next uh, uh, part, which is Surat at tawbah How can I read it? In In Allah, be cool, shay in Ali. Baro atum mean Allah, he were a sulihi. Ila Ladina had to mean a mushriki. My third way is. Continue reading with the noon rules. Why noon rules? Because word alim end with tanmin here. If I look, I will find tanmin followed by ba. In this case, I will make aqlab or qalb. Alimun bara. How can I read it? In Allah bi kulli shayin alimun bara. من الله ورسوله إلى الذين عاهدتم من المشركين إن شاء الله these three ways is clear for you and it's easy very quickly one more time first way is stop stop means I take a breath stop normal way and start the first verse Second way is sect. So I stop, but for a small time, without taking a breath, and then I start the first verse in Surah Tawbah. Third way is continue reading with any rules. If it's if it's in Surah Al-Anfal, it's end with noon rules. So I will noon and tanmin rules. So I will follow the noon and tanmin rules. In any surah else, if I connect any surah with Surah Al-Tawbah, I will check what's the rule I should to follow and I will follow these rules. So, inshallah, these three ways is clear for you. Nothing hard on it. By this, our lesson for today is completely done. Jazakumullah khairan. To watch my channel, QHE, Tajweed Rules of the Quran channel in English. Inshallah, next time we will talk more about more point, which is the maratib or the levels of the reading and uh, al-lahn and about imala we will go through important things it's very important for everyone to understand jazakumullah khairan to watch my channel assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh